Shabbat Shalom everyone and welcome to uh, the temple. We are excited to uh, welcome also the Prezant family which is uh, here and Teller that is going to become a Bar Mitzvah uh, today. We wish you Teller that it would be a sweet and a wonderful journey of many many years and many many mitzvot good deeds and commandments that you will perform in the Jewish community. We begin our service singing together Hinei Matov. Hinei Matov umanaim shevet amim gam yachad Hinei Matov umanaim shevet amim gam yachad Hinei Matov, Hinei Matov Ya la 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 Hine matov, hine matov. Ya la 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 la. Hine matov, umanaim. Ya la 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 la. Hine matov, umanaim. Shevet amim gam yachad. Hine matov, umanaim. Shevet amim gam yachad. Hine matov, umanaim. In the bottom of the YouTube link, there is a, a virtual prayer book which you can use to follow the service, or you might choose just to enjoy the beauty of the music and the words of the prayers. We turn now to page 172 to sing together Matovu. to the bottom of page 178. Baruch atah Adonai, Elohinu melech haolam, asher kitshani b'mitzvot tov, v'tzivanu la'asok b'divrei Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai our God, sovereign of the universe, who hallows us with mitzvot, commanding us to engage with the words of Torah. Adonai our God, make the words of your Torah sweet to us, and to the house of Israel your people, that we and our children may be lovers of your name and students of your Torah. We praise you, O God, teacher of Torah to our people Israel. Baruch Adonai, Hamil Amei Torah, Lamo Yisrael. Elu Divarim She'ein Lachem Sior. These are things that are limitless, of which a person enjoys the fruit of the world, while the principle remains in the world to come. They are honoring one's father and mother, engaging in deeds of compassion, arriving early for study morning and evening, dealing graciously with guests, visiting the sick, providing for the wedding couple, accompanying the dead for a borrow, being devoted in prayer, and making peace among people. But the study of Torah encompasses them all. Please rise and turn to page 195. Baruch et Adonai Hamvarach, Adonai Hamvarach Leolam Ed. Praise God and I to whom praises due forever. Praise be God and I to whom praises due now and forever. Or 
Hamir la Aretz Vladarim Alecha Barachamim Uvtu vo Mikadesh Bechol Yom Tami Ma Savere Sheet Mara Bu Ma Secha Adonai Kalamba Hokma Sita Malaha Aretz Kininecha Tit Barach Adonai Lechenu Al Sheva Ma Seya Decha But all my re or Sasita Ifarucha Sela Or Hadash Al Sion to ear beneath Kekulani me era lero, Baruch Atadu Nai Yotzer Hamerot. Please join me. The world is sunlight, restoring the soul, rejoicing the heart, bringing light to the eyes. More welcome than gold, a Torah from heaven. I have no light to give the morning. My Torah, my special human gift, is words as I bring my words forth from the silence. Welcome them, you who redeems the sun from darkness. Baruch Atadu Nai Yotzer Hamerot. Turn to page 199. O oh God, inspiration and guide for all, you have spoken in thousand tongues for us to hear. In every land and every age, your children have heard you and imagined you in separate ways. And yet, O oh God, you are one unfear of humanity. We give thanks for the sages and teachers who bring us understanding of your will. Gratefully, we recall the lawgivers and prophets, the psalmists and sages of Israel. And joyfully, we remember that from the dawn of Israel life, we would turn to you and find purpose. May the teachings of your ancestors live in our minds and help their passion for righteousness stir in our hearts. Help us to live so that our daily conduct reveals the beauty and wisdom of your truth. Baruch atah Adonai, Habohir Ba'amo, Yisrael Bahava. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Lechenu, Adonai Echad. Hero Israel, Adonai is our God, Adonai is one. Baruch Shem Kavod Malhuto Leolam Ed. Blessed. You may be seated. Ta e Adonai lechecha, v'chol v'avcha uvkol nashecha uvkol meadecha, v'chayeh hadevrim ha'ela, asher nochi mitzavacha yom alu v'avcha, v'shinan tam levinecha v'dibarta bam b'shibtu ha'beitecha u'levtecha b'derek u'shibtu ha'uvkimcha u'kshar tam le'ot yadecha v'chayeh le'totefot beinecha u'tav tam al mezuzot beitecha u'bisherecha l'ma'an tiskeru v'astitim et kol mitzvotai. Behitim Kedoshim Lalhechem, Ani Adonai Elhechem, Asher Hotseti Echem, Meeretz Mitzrayim, Lechiot Lechem Lelechim, Ani Adonai Elhechem. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your With all your soul and with all your might. And these words which I command you on this day shall be upon your heart, shall be upon your heart, and you shall teach them to. Gently unto 
to page 203 as we read together. Sing the song of men and women joined in understanding and respect. The songs of God's miracles and earth protected and cherished. A gift for our children and the generations to come. The song of a land once ravished by war, now quiet and content. The song no more. The song of a world redeemed, the song of peace. Please rise and turn to page 205 for the tefillah. Adonai sifatai tiftach ufia gitehi latecha Adonai open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruchatar <laughs> Source of all being, we turn to you as did our people in ancient days. They beheld you in the heavens, they felt you in their hearts, they sought you in their lives, their quest is ours. Help us to see the wonder of being. Give us courage to search for truth. Teach us the path to a better life. So shall we, by our lives and our labors, bring near the world in a vision. One of justice, freedom, and peace. Baruch atah nai, magena v'cham v'atzrat sarat. We read together. You are the open door that beckons me in. Peeking around the doorframe, I begin to enter into your glory. You move me forward, O Eternal, to step beyond self-made boundaries. Lift my foot over the threshold that I might abide with you. In the house of the Eternal, I found my questions awaiting to be posed. They filled me with wonder. Sit with me, Eternal Teacher. Encourage my seeking as I fill my hours with your mitzvot. So shall I be filled, send me through your door, stretching up to honor your name, sharing out this wonder, enriching myself in the giving. Blessed are you, Adonai, who gives life to all. Baruch Adonai, Magen Chachol. Adonai, Adonino, 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 Adonino,
To all generations, we will make known your greatness, and to all eternity proclaim your holiness. Your praise, O God, shall never depart from our lips. Blessed are you, Adonai, the Holy God. Baruch atah Adonai ha'el hakadosh. Please be seated. <laughs> Turn to page 216 for the blessing of Shalom. O oh God, may we never become complacent, faltering in our effort to build a world of peace. Let the nations know and understand that justice and right are better than dominion and conquest. May all come to see that it is not by might nor by power, but by your spirit that life prevails. Praised are you, Adonai, who blesses your people Israel with peace. Baruch ata Adonai, amvarech et amo Israel, bashalom. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 
all need healing and courage and strength in our lives. The Misha Berach, the prayer for courage and healing and strength for all the ones that we care for, for all our dear ones, for our entire community, and for ourselves, can be found on page 253. Turn now to Seder Kriyat Torah, the order of reading from the Torah, and I will invite Teller to say the prayer for becoming a Bar Mitzvah. It's on page 25 in your booklet, in Teller's booklet. Our God and God of our ancestors, I stand before this sacred assembly proclaiming that I choose to be a part of the people of Israel, a part of its heritage and its faith. Bound by its commandments, give me strength to follow your path and to be a source of pride to my family, my community, and my people. How greatly we are blessed, how good is our portion, how pleasant our lot, and how beautiful our heritage. Blessed are we when we sanctify your name and declare, Shema Yisrael Adonai Lechenu Adonai Echad. Baruch et Adonai Hamvarach. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Leolam Vaed. Baruch Adonai Hem Barach Le'olam Va'ed. Baruch Atah Adonai Elecheinu Melech Halem, Asher Bachar Bani Mikol Ha'amim. V'natan Lanu Et Torah To, Baruch Atah Adonai Noten HaTorah. Amen. And everyone can follow the reading from the Torah, as Teller now uncovered the Torah, uh, in those uh, handouts. And uh, everyone that is watching us on YouTube or Facebook can follow it because the camera will be showing the Torah. Vayomer Elohim el Noach va'al b'nav ito la'amor va'ani hinani mekim et bariti ithim ve'et zara ichim acharechim ve'et kol nefesh ha'haya asir ithim ba'of v'abachema uvchol hayat ta'aretz Eat him, Micho, Yotse Hataba, the whole Hayata Arts. Vahakimoti et Bariti, eat him, Velo, Yekarate, Kolbasar, Od Mime, Hamabul, Velo, Yechia, Od, Mabul, Lissahate Ta Arts. Vayomer, Elohim, Zot, Ot, Habarit, Asher, Ani, Notain, Baini, Uvene, Hame, Uvein, Kolnefes, Haya, Asher, eat him, Lederot, Olam. Et kashi natati vanan rahata la ot barit bani uvein haaret. Rahaya banan anan al haaret. Vizirata ha keset banan. Vizaharti et bariti. Eat him. 
item asher beni uvene chem uvein kol nefes haya bechol basar velo yichye od hamayim lamabul lesachet kol basar. And you can follow the English translation on the handouts. Then God said to Noah and to his sons with him, I now establish my covenant with you and with your descendants after you, and with every living creature that was with you, the birds, the livestock, and all the wild animals, all those that came out of the ark with you, every living creature on earth. I establish my covenant with you. Never again will all life be destroyed by the waters of a flood. Never again will there be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, here's a sign I'm giving you to to the, of the covenant between me and you and every living being with you down to the last generation. I have placed my bow in the cloud. It will be a, a sign of the covenant between me and earth. And when I cause clouds to form over the earth and the bow appears in the cloud, I will remember my covenant between me and you and all living beings, all flesh, and never again shall the waters become a flood to destroy all flesh. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher natah lanu tarat emet v'haye olam natah b'tochenu Baruch atah Adonai noten ha-tarat Please turn to page 254. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher b'char b'in v'im tovim v'rat sa b'di v'rechem hanem arim ba emet Baruch atah Adonai ha-bochir b'tarat Uv Moshe Avdo, Uv Yisrael Amo, Uvin Viecha Emet Vadzedek. Ki Kaisha Azuva Baazivat Rua Kira Akharanai, Veeshet Neerim Ki Tima Ace, Amar Elahaich, Beraga Katon Azavtich, Uv Rachamim Gadolim Akabsef, Bashetsef Ketsef, He's Tarti Fenar Gami Mech. Uv had said, O Lam, Rahamti, Amar Gilach Adonai. Ki me noach, Zot li, Asher nishbati, me avor me noach, od al haaret. Kain nishbati, miksov alayach, umigar bach. Ki chacharim, Yamushu, Rahagva ot, Timutena. Rahasti, me atech, lo Yamush. Uvrit shalomi, lo Timut. Aniya soarach lo nechama hene anohi marbits ba puf avnayich. Uv hatsed ba puf vashamti kad kod shimsho tayich. Usharayich la avne hefet. Vecho givulech la avne hefet. Vecho givna lemude adonai varav shalom banayich. And you can follow the translation of the Aftara also on your booklets. The Eternal will call you back as if it were a wife deserted and distressed in spirit, a wife who married young only to be rejected, says your God. For a brief moment I abandoned you, but with deep compassion I will bring you back. In a surge of anger I hid my face from you for a moment, but with everlasting kindness I will have compassion on you, says the Eternal, your reminder. To me, this is like the days of Noah, when I swore that the waters of Noah would never again cover the earth. So now I have to sworn not to be angry with you, never to rebuke you again, that the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed. Yet my unfalling love for you will not be shaken, nor my covenant of peace be removed, says the Eternal, who has compassion on you, afflicted city, lashed by storms and not converted. I will, be, I will rebuild you with stones of turquoise. Your foundation will be of lapis lazuli. I will make your battlements of rubies, your gates of sparkling jewels, and all of your walls of precious stones. All of your children will be taught by the Eternal, and great will be their peace. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam sor kol haolamim sadik v'chol hadarot ha'el hana eman ha'omer. Veose ham de bear um kayim. Shakol de verav ha emet vad sedek. All hatara va all ha avada va all han veim. Va all yom ha shabbat haze. Shana tata lanu adonail henu. Lik du sha valim nu ha ultif aret. All hakol adonail henu anachnu. Modim lach umvarchem otach 
Vitbara Shimcha, Bafi Kol Hai, Tamid Lo Alam Vaed, Baruch Atadu Nai, Mekadesh Hashabbat. For I have given you good instruction, do not abandon my Torah. It is a tree of life for those who hold fast to it, and all its supporters are happy. Its ways are ways of pleasantness, and all its paths are peace. Return us to you, Adonai, and we will return, renew our days as of old. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. Thank you for joining online to help me celebrate my bar mitzvah. One year ago when my bar mitzvah seemed far away, I could never have imagined that it would be like this. But here we are and I'm just thankful that my family and I have remained healthy during the pandemic. My Torah portion today was about the promise that God made to humankind using a rainbow in the sky after the rain stopped. The rainbow symbolized God's promise that there would never be another disaster like the flood which destroyed humankind. But the rainbow is also a reminder for people to do our part to eat God's promise alive by working for a better and more peaceful world. What better time than now to remember that promise? Today, maybe more than ever, people need to work together to make the world better and to create peace. Currently, our community and many others are struggling with important issues about how humans treat each other and our places in society. The rainbow should remind all people, even people my age, that, should, that we should try our best every day to make the world better through small acts of kindness and compassion for others. Remembering God's promise is what made me choose my mitzvah project. I decided to write cards to elderly people who cannot go out because of the pandemic. It was my hope that even a simple act of kindness like writing a card could make someone's day brighter and give them hope that times will get better. My bar mitzvah has been important to me because it taught me that I could work hard and accomplish difficult things. Learning to read the Torah and all the blessings in today's service in a different language with a different alphabet was very challenging and took a lot of time and practice. Even though I knew it was not perfect, I am proud of what I have accomplished. It has given me confidence to go forward, knowing that if I work hard at something, I will be able to accomplish it. I have many people to thank me for me getting on this to this day. First, I would like to thank my parents, Lauren and Jane Prezant. They support me and encourage me to the best I can be. There are times when I don't feel like working, whether it be on schoolwork or preparing for today. They are patient and help me guide to be my best no matter what. I also want to thank my sister, even though like most siblings, we don't always get along. I am thankful for her, especially now during the pandemic, when I can't see my friends in person very often. I would also like to thank my grandparents, Bruce and Ellen Prezant and Joyce Knoll. They have all given me support my whole life, and I am grateful to have them with me today. I also want to thank my Uncle Evan. We wish that you could be here to celebrate with us, and we love you and miss you. I want to thank my whole extended family, including the Oppenheimers, Nalls, and Globingers, who have always been an important part of my life. I want to thank my friends, who have always been kind, caring people who support me. Also, thanks to Rabbi David and the student staff for patiently working with me on my Hebrew. Finally, I would like to thank Shelly Myers who helped me practice my Hebrew. She has been like an aunt to me and my sister our whole lives, and it was fun getting to practice with her. Again, thank you for helping my bar mitzvah with a bright spot in 2020. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you, Taylor. Thank Thanks. you for doing such a great job leading us in prayer and reading from the Torah and from the Aftarah. 
and thank you for what you taught us from what you've uh, learned. And also thank you that for everything that I've learned from you when we are preparing for this day. I hope and pray that two lessons at least from preparing for the Bar Mitzvah would be part of your life from now on. And I want to tell you what those two lessons are because I have the microphone and you have to listen, so it's a chance to actually share those two things that I think that uh, can actually be very helpful. First, hopefully you were able also to look at your parents when you were leading the service, look at your grandparents and see in their eyes the pride and the joy that they are feeling for you. And I'm sure that everyone in those pictures and everyone that is watching also projected that pride and joy because you did a great job. But it was not easy. I want to take you more or less a year, a year and a half back to when you first entered the Bnei Mitzvah class. And it was not easy. You were a sixth grader. Most of them were seven graders. And you had that beautiful shy smile that you have now on you. And uh, you were kind of nervous. It was kind of awkward. And then we start going over the Hebrew. And that made you really nervous because a lot of the prayers were new. Your Torah and Aftarah were definitely new because you don't know by heart the entire Hebrew Bible, nor does anybody else that I know knows by heart all the Hebrew Bible. And the Torah without vowels, that must have been really scary. But little by little, stone after stone, like building a brick house and putting one brick after the other, you mastered it. You worked very hard. You practiced a lot. Your parents sometimes had to nudge you, but you did the majority of the work. And hopefully the lesson is that when you take upon yourself an assignment for a good thing, like leading the congregation in prayer and in reading from the Torah and teaching us, when you take such an assignment, even if it looks huge, if you put a lot of hard work into it, and if you do it stage by stage, you will succeed. And you did a great job today. Thank you. And the second lesson that I want you to remember has to do with your Bar Mitzvah project. It's very hard to find mitzvah projects during COVID-19. Most places that normally you would volunteer, the last thing that they want is a volunteer right now because they're closed. The Human Society, Jewish Family and Career Services, uh, our temple, we're not asking volunteers to come. But you found a project with your own initiative and not only that you did it beautifully, you brought smiles and joy and happiness to people's life in a time that is not an easy one. And that is a big thing. And if you remember that and continue for many, many years with acts of love and kindness to bring joy, joy and happiness to people's life, that would be the best journey a bar mitzvah can have in our world. We have some gifts for you. If you look down in your pulpit, uh, uh, inside the pulpit, you see the blue bag that has uh, a, an appreciation and a gift uh, for the mitzvah project you've done. And then there are, there's a book there and a tzedakah box and, uh, and some... Uh, certificates about your mitzvah project and about your bar uh, mitzvah. Don't forget them. And also don't forget the beautiful uh, yad that you uh, led uh, this service with uh, uh, when, uh, when you go back home. I want to share with you something not from your Torah portion, but from another book in the Bible, the book of Numbers, that has to do with a blessing that I want to bless you with. It's the priestly benediction. We are blessing people in happy occasions. And uh, that blessing has been passed from God to Moses and Aaron and from them to us for thousands of years. And the blessing goes like that. 
May Adonai our God always guard you and keep you and give you the safety and the security that you need. Ya'er Adonai panav elecha ve'yechunecha. May Adonai's face be lifted unto you and may Adonai's face shine on you and may Adonai always deal graciously with you. Yisa Adonai panav elecha ve'yasem lecha shalom. May you feel God's presence in your life all the time and may God grant you the most important blessing of all, the blessing of shalom, of wellness and wholeness and peace. And Jennifer wants to sing for you Lech Lecha. turn to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people whose graves are unmarked, and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. As we remember them, we meditate on the meaning of love and loss, of life and death. And on this Shabbat, we remember especially Lani Nafusi, Marianne Morgulan, Anton B. Drydell, Rebecca Khan Rubin, Sam Siegel, Phyllis Siegel, Peggy Lipton, Walter Ziegler, Manuel S. Kassen, Martin Kasdan, Josephine Rosenfeld, Martha Gordon, Nancy Hopewell Manel, Anne Brenton Weeder, Eugene H. Frank, Maurice Foreman, Richard Dorsbach, Lillian Platt of Jacobs, Anna Mashbass, Kate Hammond Simon, Hilda Myers, Sidonie Roth, Rain M. Loeb, Robert W. Kling, Joseph Lang, Anne Skyer, Anna Glogauer, Max Cohen, Louise Bornstein, Tilly H. Cohen, Mark Epstein, Beatrice Jacobs, William J. Schatz, Selma Rosenberg, Rose L. Belker, Sam Peromchek, Irene Dwarin Rosenfield, and in recent days, Isabella Gottlieb, Ruth Gelfenbein, and Brenda Sikat. We think of our loved ones whom death has recently taken from us, those who died in this season in years past, and those whom we have drawn into our hearts with our own. With the blessed memories of our loved ones, we rise and we turn to page 294 for the mourner's Kaddish. Please join me. Yidgadal v'yitkadash shemer בעלמה דברה חירותי וימליך מלכותי, בחייכון וביומכון ובחיי דכל בית ישראל, בעגלה ובזמן קריב, ואמרו, אמן. 
יהא שמי רבה מברך לעלם ולעולמי על מאיה. יתברך וישתבח ויתפאר ויתרומם ויתנשא ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתהלל שמי דקודשה בריחו. לעילה מן כל ברכתה ושירתה תוש בחטא ונחמתה דאמירן בעלמה ואמרו אמן. יהא שלמה רבה מן שמיא וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן. עושה שלום במרומיו הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן. זיכרונם לברכה may the memory of our loved ones come to be a blessing and a benediction to us all. Our closing song is Ose Shalom, uh, which is the last words of the mourner's Kaddish. רצון מלפניך, אדוני אלוהינו ואלוהי אמותינו, שתוליכנו לשלום. May it be your will, אדוני our God and God of our ancestors, that we be guided on the paths of שלום, of wellness and wholeness and peace, and that you always protect us from all harm and evil on our way. Bless the work of our hands and grant us grace, loving kindness, and compassion in your eyes, in the eyes of everyone who sees us. Adonai Shalom, bless us all with the Shabbat of Shalom. Shalom to our bodies, to our minds, and to our souls. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Mazal Tov, Teller, you did great. You should be very proud of yourself and enjoy the rest of the day and many, many years of between הבא במצווה. שבת שלום. שבת שלום.